Gonzalo Lira, an American journalist known for his critical stance on the Zelensky and Biden regimes, has passed away in a Ukrainian prison, as reported by Tucker Carlson. Referred to as Coach Red Pill, Lira faced imprisonment for expressing dissent against the governments of Zelensky and Biden. The Gateway Pundit contacted the US Embassy in Kiev, previously acknowledging they were monitoring Lira's case. The news broke through Tucker Carlson, who highlighted that Gonzalo Lira Sr., the journalist's father, confirmed his son's death at the age of 55 in a Ukrainian prison. The Biden administration seemingly endorsed Lira's incarceration and mistreatment. Carlson mentioned a prior conversation with Lira's father, who had foreseen his son's tragic fate. Journalist Kim Iverson shared an email from Gonzalo Lira's father, disclosing that Lira passed away in a Kharkiv hospital between 11 and 12 p.m. Ukraine time on January 11, 2024, adding to the tributes journalist Alex Rubenstein sadly announced Lira's demise in a hospital, referring to a note from Lira himself on January 4th. The note detailed severe health issues, including double pneumonia, pneumothorax and significant edema. Lira's father expressed deep dissatisfaction with his son's treatment, blaming the Ukrainian dictator Zelensky and President Biden for the tragedy. The US Embassy in Kiev, responding to inquiries from the Gateway Pundit on December 28, 2023, stated their ongoing involvement in Lira's case. They reported frequent communication with Lira and his counsel, participation in court proceedings and monitoring the situation. A spokesperson for the embassy mentioned the last phone conversation with Lira on December 12th and attendance at a court hearing on December 21st. British politician George Galloway conveyed to Gonzalo Lira Sr. that a single word from the US Embassy could have secured his son's release. To support our channel's growth and ensure broader awareness, kindly hit the like and subscribe buttons. This will help us reach more individuals and disseminate valuable information. Thank you in advance.